Bulletproof GLE, put your shotters with me. Shot this collar in LE, keep that chopper with me. Break down fasting for you. Y'all want me to break down fasting? I'd my, my, um, what the fuck course was that? What course was that? I, I can't remember. I think it was cell physiology, bro. I think it was cell physiology where the lab, I just wrote a 16 page paper on fasting, bro. So let me see if I can pull up that document. I can explain this shit off the top of my head. Let me, I'm gonna, actually, I'm going to explain it off the top of my head so it could be as simple as I can be before I look at the paper where I referenced sources and I like broke the whole shit down. It's the simplest way, bro. I am going to say fasting is everything. Fasting, and then now it's, it's different forms of this shit. You might have heard of calorie deficit. Like people would be like, yo, I went on a calorie deficit and shit like that. But my nigga, when I tell you that fasting is is everything, I feel like humans have to fast. I, I literally feel like humans need to fast. Like the the science that supports fasting, it is just is undeniable. But listen, then you get into that fasting being a spiritual connection, like fasting and doing that. But listen, chat, it's it's deep. It's so much deep shit about fasting. I'm not Muslim though. I'm not Muslim. But. I'm not, I don't even have to talk to you about fasting on a spiritual level. The quickest way I can say about that, the quickest thing I can say about fasting is that is as humans, we only really need a couple things. We need to eat, we need to reproduce. It's, that's why we get hungry and that's why we get horny. Because our body tells us what we need. We get hungry because we need to eat, we get horny because we need to fuck. Fasting and the same thing where like, like you know, semen retention and self-control, if you get yourself to a point where you can deny yourself willingly of what your body needs to survive, you have a different level of self-control. But that's that's on the spiritual connection of, of like fasting and, and you know semen judging and self-control and shit like that. Of why that makes sense on a psychological self-control level. Let's get into the science of fasting though. Let's get into it. I, it's like where do I start? Where do I start? Let me see where to start, bro. I'm telling you, fasting is deep. Like, fasting is deep, and I don't want to throw this shit over your head. Number one, when you fast, when you fast, what happens to your cells, but it's so much, it's so, it's so deep that I, like, I have to explain this shit in different ways. If you're watching now, follow along and stay along. Let me know if I miss you on something. I'm going to make this simple as possible, but it's like I'm referencing so many different ideas and science that it's like, it's, it's going to like, I'm going to try to make it as simple as possible. I'm going to try to have it be simple and clear so you can follow along. When you fast, like when you when your body is not when you undergo a certain period of calories and you're used to eating a certain way, and when you fast, your body undergoes some shit called ketosis. Now, a part of ketosis is that it also induces, and when you induce something, you turn it on. It turns on something in your cells called autophagy. Autophagy is your is is like tr trash day for your cells. I'm telling y'all, I know what I'm talking about, so I could take complex shit and make it simple for y'all. I'm telling you, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna talk smart like try to sound like a fucking genius. I'm gonna make it simple as fuck. Autophagy is like trash day for your cells. If you are constantly eating and you are constantly digesting food and you are constantly throwing bullshit in your in your body, your body has a certain amount of energy. And your body is like a warehouse, so if you're constantly eating. You know, your liver is working, your digestive system, your all this shit is working. When you go through autophagy and when you fast, not only do you, you recreate new white blood cells, which is a part of your immune system, your body induces autophagy, which means turns on the trash day. It cleans all the trash that's building up in your cells. This is the same trash which cancer feeds off of. So not only are you preventing and making cancer less likely, you're making your cells more efficient and healthier when you fast. Not only that, when you start fasting to a certain point, people talk about fat. Like that's why people talk about calorie deficit and they use that to get abs and shit like that. People talk about fat. You don't work out to burn fat. You don't fucking eat healthy to burn fat, my nigga. I mean those can those things can help you burn fat. I'm not denying that. What I'm saying is, 
Look, Moose said, ketosis happens when you don't have enough carbohydrates in your system. And that's why I said I differentiated calorie deficit from fasting. The fasting I'm talking about is only drinking water. And some people, when they fast, they don't even drink water. So when you only drink water, you're not getting any carbohydrates, any proteins, any shit like that. So like, like he clarified that ketosis is when you don't have enough carbohydrates. That was the unassumed thing. Intermittent fasting, like there's all types of different fasting where intermittent fasting is like when you fast for a certain type of hours. But listen, like Moose saying, and exactly. But listen, y'all can like fact I check me. You get cancer every day. It's just our body fights it off. Or am I tripping? Exactly. See, Anthony knows his science. Y'all don't know that. You're, you get cancer all the time. Your immune system kills cancer. Y'all don't, y'all didn't know that though. And here's another thing. Your immune system kills cancer for you, so you sometimes you just never get it, and it never progresses and becomes a you know ma malignant tumor, tumor or whatever, right? And never progresses and spreads. Your immune system kills cancer for you. Niggas talk about all this cure shit and all this shit, right? Listen, hold on, hold on. When your immune system is killing cancer, the specific thing that goes in and, and blows that cancer cell up. It, it needs to be fluid enough to move around your cells. So if you are dehydrated, it is harder for that thing to kill that cancer cell. And so it's like, it's funny. Do you know what's funny about your body and shit like that? This is what I'm saying is like, it's, it's like, where do I start with fasting? Because there's so many different things to say about it. So look at this. When you're dehydrated, it's harder for your, your immune system. You know, the, the, I forget what the fuck this shit is called, but it's something that literally goes up to that fucking cancer cell, sticks the shit in it, and it blows that shit up. Right? Right? Oh, no, no. Moo, I'm not talking about that. Not not your G1 checkpoint stop cancer from above. I'm talking about, like, your literal immune system. Like, I forget what the shit is called, though. I think... I don't know if it's the T-cell. It's definitely probably not the T-cell, but... Literally, bro. Like, your, your immune system will literally go in and kill a cancer cell for you. But it needs, like... It needs enough hydration. It needs enough fluid in your system to be able to move around. No, antibodies is when you're talking about, like, a virus or some shit. Listen... It needs enough fluid to be able to move around through your cells. So if you're dehydrated, it is harder for it to move around as efficiently to kill that cancer cell. Also, if you have a bunch of junk lingering around in your cells, your cancer, you're feeding the cancer and it will grow at a faster rate. And it is just a breeding ground for cancer. There is literally studies that prove that if you have a BMI over obesity or over, you know, it classifies you as overweight. You are like seven times more likely to get certain types of cancer. 700% higher chance to get it. So this is what I'm saying. It's like it's it's no in between. It's literally night and day. It's literally night and day when you take care of your body. It's no in between. It's no just I'm going to kind of be unhealthy now. No. Because like I said, keep in mind. I said that, that that particular thing needs hydration in your body to be able to move around. Right? Why else would you be dehydrated? Drinking a bunch of bullshit ass juice, not drinking a lot of water, having a bad diet, um, drinking a lot of alcohol, you know, shit like that, which literally dries up your cells and puts bullshit in your body. And that's why I talked about burning fat. Fat is stored energy, bro. If you want to burn fat, you have to use it. Fat, fat's entire purpose is not to be burnt. Fat, the entire purpose of fat is to be saved. So if you're getting too much fat, it's not going to just burn because you're going to the gym and just fuck. No, you have to literally force it to go. Force it to be used. Ketosis breaks down fat. It forces it to be burned. The quickest way to burn that fat, bro. It literally biologically forces it to do it. But let's even get to this bigger, this bigger shit I could point out. Oh, what the fuck? What point was I about to make? Like, bro, it's just so much I could literally say on fasting and, and violence. Like, even this. Even when I was learning shit in um, organic chemistry and, and, and it related back to the nutrition aspect. It's some shit called antioxidants. And then with, with, with antioxidants and organic chemistry connected to me. So you can get antioxidants from shit like, uh, like purple grapes. Like, um, I can't remember, bro, I got a list of fruits. I got a whole bunch of shit in my notes where I keep track of all this shit because I can't, I never can remember shit, but I know, I, I understand the science behind why I should do it. So you got some shit called antioxidants. Now, what I had learned from, from, from um, organic chemistry was that 
you have now it wasn't even my first time learning about free radicals but what organic chemistry did is, is that it elaborated more i already knew what free radicals was i already knew what antioxidants and all that shit but yeah oats is berries and shit exactly it's a bunch of berries and shit like purple grapes specifically purple grapes not white grapes or you know green grapes whatever but shit like that now looking now look what these antioxidants do is that free radicals how can i how can i like word this Free radicals are like instigators. Free radicals fuck everything up. Free radicals is one of the reasons that the ozone layer is on some dog shit right now and our and our global warming is so shitty right now. Free radicals and shit like that destroying the atmosphere. Right? We talked about them CFCs, those chlorofluorocarbons. Shit like that. It's it's, it's them free bro, them free radicals are like Satan themselves. They they the fuck everything up. But basically what a free radical is, is that it is a, 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 a element or, mo or whatever the case may be, it's usually something like oxygen, with an extra electron sitting on it. And it doesn't have a charge on it. But it, they're instigators because what they do is they might break a bond here. They might force a bond to be made here. They might come over here and, and make, they just fuck up everything, bro. So free radicals also deteriorate your your um your dna like shit like your telomeres and stuff like that which also makes it more likely for you to get cancer so not only does fasting prevent cancer on so many different levels when you fast and eat healthier with shit like free radical i mean antioxidants like that antioxidants stop free radicals that's why they call it antioxidants because in, in chemistry when you know when that element or whatever when it when it when it fucks up another joint, when it when it you you know makes that bond, it's called oxidation or whatever. So they call it antioxidants because they literally fight the ant they fight the free radicals and they take care of them joints. You could fact check my shit, my nigga. I know what I'm talking about. I, I swear to God, on God, like, I would never stay wrong, bro. I tell you, when I speak, I know this shit. I like I study this shit. I don't just speak out my ass. But free radicals, you know what I'm saying? They just they just linger. They wild as fuck. They fuck everything up. But the antioxidants are what you can eat to counter the free radicals. So not only are you eating healthy, it's preventing them free radicals from fucking shit up, but the antioxidants also benefit you in so many. Bro, I'm telling you, bro. Oh, oh, oh.